Hey guys, today we have a 2006 Honda Pilot. We will be replacing a um, power steering pump. Get a brand new one here, as you can see. And of course we need a power steering fluid. We need a genuine Honda power steering fluid. All right, let's get started. get started um so this car actually we have replaced the um, power steering fluid i mean the the power steering reservoir we replaced that already the o-rings for the high pressure and low pressure line and the hoses has been replaced already and still making that noises and i'll show you what the noise look like um it's the power pump um, power steering pump need to be replaced so we're gonna start doing that and let's get start removing these pieces here let's go ahead and remove this cover so we can access everything here all right so once we remove the, the cover you're gonna get a 14 millimeter socket and you're gonna get to that the tensioner pulley Get a long, either long pry bar, and you're gonna go push it kind of clockwise towards the back of the car. So you will lose the belt. You can see this, like that. It's a lot of tension, so we're gonna remove the belt. So we just probably just leave it there. That's it. All right, so that's good. All right, so once you remove that belt, you don't have to totally remove it. Just put it in the side so it won't be in the way. I'll put it right here so you can put it back the same way. And let's put a rag under the power steering pump so when we remove it it won't cause a lot of um, fluid leak so what we need to be removing first this is a 10 millimeter bolt disconnect this line and there's like um 12 millimeter bolt right here mm. right there let me show you what it looks like so it's gonna be look like this so facing that 10 millimeter bolt here and here, and there's that 12 here and the one down there. So we have to get that out. All right, so this one, so we disconnect this, put it on the side. This one you can easily pull it out slowly. That should come out. Okay, let me just not. Pull that out all the way, and then you need a 10 millimeter bolt here. This is 10. Let's go ahead and um, remove that one. Here, um, that's the high pressure line, and this one we already replaced the um the gasket on this one and and this is pretty brand new too so didn't fix the problem still have um bubbles in there especially um making that noise in the cold weather cold start so that's out This one is out as well. Put it on the side. 
this one just should be lift, lift up pretty easy don't force it it will come out pretty easy just hook it side by side like that there you go that's a new gasket right here as you can see this is new so put that on the side and then now we need um, a 12 millimeter bolt that would go like one over here and one down here so let's go ahead if we can put this one first well, let me get a shorter one okay so that's a 12 millimeter right here the material pipe help me out okay that's loose I'm trying to get down in the bottom see if I can feel it it's right down right here right below the pump let's see if I can reach that one okay, so easy way easiest way to find it if you're looking down here you have this it's right behind it as you can see that's my extension it goes straight down there that's the bolt which is right here down here right below this straight down so that's how you find the bolt so i got my extension there as you can see and then we're gonna loose that up So I have it there. Let's see if I can get my cheater bar again. Make sure. Oh, one. loose should be able to remove it by hand all right so the bolt is out this one and the one at the bottom so for fully right here so let's go ahead and disconnect the last hose right here so now it's gonna spill but let's go ahead and make sure it's flipped up or if you want to go ahead and plug it with something um it'd be better so this is already out this is what we need to be replacing Okay. All right, and this is the old one, and this is our new one. As you can see, this pulley is not with the brand new one, so we have to remove this pulley out and move it to the new one. While we do that, what I like to do is I put some fluid here first. that's sealed as you can see I will be putting some fluid that later but I can put some fluid there now if you want me to let's go ahead um so it will be primed already of course we're gonna be using the um genuine power steering pump fluid I'm just gonna start it from here. So once that full, that's gonna go to the system. As you can see, once you put that, start coming out here, as you can see there. So I'm gonna top that off. So that's good. And close this one. 
So let's go ahead and remove this pulley from the old power steering pump. Okay, to remove this, we gotta put that in the vise. And then make sure this is not moving. We're gonna remove this nut here. And um, this one is a size 19. Let's see if we can focus real quick. This is a size 19 socket right here. So you put it there. We have the counterclockwise, but because it's spinning, we're gonna put something to stop it. And here, some pry bar like that. We put it right here. And then so I like using my cheater bar. Let me just make sure. Let's see, there you go. Get a better angle here. Just I'm gonna put some WD-40 to make it easier for us. Let's go ahead and remove this. There you go. There you go. It's just a little bit tight. That is out. As you can see. And then we're going to transfer it to the new water pump assembly that we have. And this one should, let me see, come out pretty easy because they have some splines side so we're gonna save that that's bad let me go ahead get the new water pump and then you go of that water pump what I mean is power steering pump sorry not water pump so we'll clamp it again with the new one we have here clockwise put it here and get my pry bar make sure somewhere that this will stop Let's see stop this one I'm gonna relocate this real quick Let's go ahead and do it this way That's better. See that? Let's put it here. Oh, I think this one was better. Oh, 
one. Or I can put it from the bottom. There you go. That's better. Go ahead and tighten it. Chew the bar. There you go, that's tight. Last one. That's it. That's tight. So now we're gonna go ahead and install it. All right, so now time to um, install it. Easiest way to install it. Start with just bolt on the bottom. The top will be easier. The bolt on the bottom is right there, so. Start it there, put it down. So we just go in reverse, just like how we removed it. And I can actually start with the bolt right here and the one on the side top because this one is sometimes just hold it in place. And from the bottom. And keep on um, screw it and that should be ready okay so we tighten the bolt make sure you put a little wiggle should be okay and then we can go ahead and remove this top the top piece and go ahead and install the high pressure Hose. Put that in. I should have like a, a 10, 10 millimeter bolts. Ten bolts. We're pretty much done. So this one before you actually before I replace this power steering pump or replace the gasket for this, this will replace to the gasket, the o-ring gasket, o-ring on the other end and the top hose and I might, we did already replace the um the hose two hose for the reservoir the return line and also with the um the top hose and the reservoir so still doing the same so this is the last stop for this and make sure you put them evenly snug at one side and the other side so they will seal flat so the oil will seal flat as well and it will not suction some air or create the bubble and make the power steering pump bad and it doesn't make any noise don't over tight this one like tight it's good but not loose either okay it's good okay once we get that the last one we have is this hose right here we'll go ahead um unplug this cover and then put this hose here 
This is tight. You gotta push it really hard on this one. You're gonna have a good grip. Alright, so once you push that all the way in, make sure it's all the way to that lip over there. And then let's go ahead and put the, um, the clamp back on. This is pretty tough to, um, to push it. You're gonna have need two hands, but it's, do it's doable by hand. And then the clip was snug, tight fit there. All right, so after that, we're almost done. We'll go ahead and um, get our 14 millimeter socket. Where is our 14 at? Make sure we have it somewhere here. And then we're gonna put the belt back on. Let's see. It's this one here. And put the belt back on. Okay, so now we put the belt back on, double check our work, and I already refilled the um, the power steering fluid. This is full already. Yeah, make sure you put, use the genuine Honda power steering fluid. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and start it and check if it's still making any noises, and double check our work. So right now I'm gonna go ahead start the car just gonna leave this here so you can you can hear it make sure you double check all the work all right go ahead start the car gonna go ahead and turn the steering all the way to the left to the right so all the fluid will go you'll hear some noises here that, that one and then do it again all the way to the left so all the fluid will go to the system do that a couple times. And then that should be it. As you can hear, it's quiet. Everything working good. I'm gonna check the battery at your level. Let's go ahead and check our parsing food. As you can see, let's get some light. And no bubbles. Spinning freely. There we go. All right. That's it, guys. Let's go ahead and put the cover back. And that's it, we're done. And that's how you replace the power steering pump for a Honda Pilot 2005. And it will work to every 3.5 liter of a Honda V6. All right, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the next video.